Morning guys, Phil here. It's darts time on my YouTube channel today. The European Championships starts today from Hassel in Belgium and it's the start of what we call silly season in the darts where we've got four majors including the Worlds in just eight weeks. It's crazy, it really is. But enjoyable for us darts fans and this looks an amazing tournament which it's quite unique because the rankings and seedings are different to what we normally see because of the European Tour Order of Merit, which is throwing up some interesting ties, shall we say. First of all, there's one big name missing in Adrian Lewis. Didn't qualify simply because he didn't do enough Euro Tour events. And Phil Taylor only just snuck in and isn't seeded. Gary Anderson also isn't seeded, which is crazy when you think he got the 16 times world champion and the two-time current world champion, world number two, not seeded. It's, it's crazy. But that's the European Tour for you, and that's how a lot of people on the Order of Merit make up their prize money by going and doing all these Euro Tour events, which is, I think it's amazing, and I don't know why people miss them, because it's 25 grand to win a Euro Tour event, and you only have to win, I think it's six games, where on a Pro Tour weekend, to win not even that money, you can only win 20 grand on a Pro Tour weekend, 10 each day, you have to win 9 games each day to win 10, so you have to win 18 games to win 20, doesn't make any sense, and I don't know why people do it, but hey, that's up to that's up to them, I'm only a fan. Um, some amazing first round games, I have to say, um, the one you have to feel for is James Wade. Seeded four, he's won one of the Euro Tour events this year, and he gets Gary Anderson first round because Gary's not seeded. So that that's the harsh draw for for the seeds as well. But James has beaten him before in the World Series this year, so I wouldn't back against him to do it again. It's only over a short format, the early rounds, best of eleven, the same as the Pro Tour and European Tour events. So that'll be interesting. Um, who else we got? Michael Van Gerwen against Simon Whitlock. <clears throat> now, Michael is a huge favourite in this game. I think he's about 1-8 to eight with most bookmakers. However, beware of the wizard. That is all I'll say. Simon has had a renaissance of, of late, a right resurgence in his game. He won one of the Pro Tour events at the weekend, and he had a 9 data in that he then qualified for both the World Series Finals and the Grand Slam. So he is bang in form. So I wouldn't rule out an upset. I know it's against Michael, but over that, that short format, it could happen. So yeah, I, I personally wouldn't I wouldn't touch that game if I was having a bet. One, because I think Michael is far too short, and two, the fact that Simon has beat him over this distance recently in Dublin. So, a bit of a leave alone game for me. Um, who else have we got? Phil Taylor's got a tough looking first round game against Alan Norris, who recently won the last Euro Tour event, his first um, Euro Tour event win. So, Alan is playing very, very well. Phil has had quite a bit of time off recently to work on his game. So, it would be interesting to see how how he fares. The last time we saw him was in Dublin for the Grand Prix. That didn't go too well for him. So we'll see how battle ready Phil is. Then we've got Kim Hybrex against James Wilson is also a standout. Where Kim has been playing well of late, but so has James Wilson. So that, that has a bit of intrigue to that game. I think Peter Wright against Justin Pipe will be interesting. We all know that Justin likes to play at a rather slow pace. Not doing anything wrong by doing it. That's just his game and everyone else has to has to live with that. I'm just pleased that he didn't get drawn against Mensor Sulevich because that would have been painful to watch. Even though I like love Mensor, um, it just wouldn't have been great TV. Speaking of Mensor, he's got James Watamina. I expect him to, to get through that quite easily, if I'm being honest. Um, who else have we got? Yellow Class and Steve West. Should be a great game. Yellow has been in great form all year, where Steve West beat Phil Taylor in Dublin. So 
we know that Steve's playing well. All these games have a, a mystique to them, I have to say. There's no easy game in the PDC anymore. In years gone by, used to see, used to be able to coast through a couple of rounds, not anymore. First round games now are what were quarter final games four or five years ago. So that just shows how much the standard has improved. Um, an interesting one, Michael Smith against Stephen Bunting in the first round, where Michael Smith is the world number nine, I think he is now, isn't playing well at all, short of confidence, just doesn't look himself. So wouldn't be surprised if that was one of the seeds that fell early. Um, Chris Dobie, Joe Cullum, two young lads, both playing very well. Joe's had a great year, just got a wild card to the World Series final. And Chris Doby got to a Pro Tour final and he lost to Whitlock. So two young men playing very, very well, I have to say. Who do I think will win it? It would be a brave man to back against Michael Van Gogh and obviously t to win it. He's a short price. He's evens to win the tournament, which is, for me, far too short for any outright winner before a dart is thrown. But... He's won 21 tournaments this year, which is why he's so short. The man has been phenomenal over the last three years. He really has. So it'd be a brave man to back against him. If he was to win this, it would be a hat-trick of World Series, um, European Championships and three in a row, which is something he's not done yet in the PDC, is won the same tournament three years in a row. There's not much he hasn't done in the PDC, but this is one of them. So I'm really looking forward to a great tournament. And this leads, as I said earlier, this leads us in to what is just a phenomenal passage of darts now. We've got the Europeans here. Then we've got the Grand Slam at Wolverhampton. Then the Players' Championships in Minehead, which also has the Under-21 World Youth Final featuring Corey Cadby who came over from Australia and qualified for the final, going to be a phenomenal talent in the world of darts. And then mid-December, over Christmas, into the new year, we have the Worlds. So, brilliant time to be a darts fan. Guys, I love every minute of it, as you all know. So that's my, my little round-up of the first round of the European Championships. Um, not a lot to say, guys. Have a great Friday. I'll, um, I shall try and do a roundup one later on. Depends what time it finishes. It might be tomorrow morning. But have a great Friday, guys, and see you all later.